Danny Day here with Corbin University head men's soccer coach Aaron Lewis. We are here for the 2016 Corbin men's soccer season preview. Yeah. Aaron, the season is here already. Can you believe it? It has come up. It's it's snuck up on us in a little bit, but we are excited to be here. We are. And uh, so your first three years at the helm have all been successes in varying ways, yeah. all with trips to the NAI national tournament. How do you plan to build on that momentum yeah. and then continue the success in 2016? Well, the plan essentially starts way back at the end of the fall season and to use that momentum through your recruiting conversations through your spring scheduling uh, getting guys opportunities to play in the summer and, and things like that so a lot of the heavy lifting is already done uh, if we haven't done that then, then we're, we're heading into a season not as prepared as we'd like but we have done that and so at this point when the guys come in it's, it's getting them sharp getting them organized and, and, and ready to play so we can create new momentum for the following year you return a number of all-conference performers from last year, including the CCC Player of the Year and the CCC Defensive Player of the Year. Who are you expecting to have big seasons in 2016 from the returning group? Yep, as you mentioned, Offensive Player of the Year, Kwame Denal, Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, Jordan Farr. We expect them to be uh, very good again this fall. They had great springs. They've done a lot of work over the summer, and both of them we, we think have All-American potential. Um, but other guys that, that I'd like to mention are Armando Guevara, center midfielder that we think can be very dangerous in the attack and help us in our possession game. Kumar Prince has worked very hard between last fall and, and today to, to quicken up his speed of play. He's always very good defending counterattacks, and we expect him to have a very, very good fall. And then Jacob Young, who's going to slide from an outside back to a center back. He also has done a lot of work between last fall and, and today, and we think he will be very sharp this fall. This recruiting class that you brought in might be your most talented group yet. Who should we be looking for to have big years this year for the Warriors? Excited for a lot of guys. So the freshman class is, is very deep and very talented. We expect some of them to challenge for spots right away. But the, the guys I'd like to mention uh, with this, this recruiting class is some, um, uh, some transfers. Uh, Rolando Velasco is from, from Oregon State. He's very technical. He's great on set pieces in the service area. Uh, he can finish well. I think he's going to be dangerous for us. Um, uh, Igor Hubuena from, from Chemeketa uh, is very strong, very fast. Physically, he can cover a ton of ground and, and, and is tough. And, and yet, his technical ability is good. He'll be a force for us in the middle. And then Langdon Roscoe, who's coming, up, coming from Clark, uh, is, is very solid. He's technically very good and communicates really well. I think on the back line, he'll be a big asset for us. And last but not least, a newcomer that, uh, that we are very, very excited about is Tamor Zavitze. Uh, he transferred um, uh, in last season and wasn't able to participate due to a transfer rule. Um, but in 2014 at Concordia, he was a first-team all-conference player in our conference, scored 14 goals, had six assists, and between uh, you know, then and today, he's done a ton of work, and I can, I can testify for sure that he, he's uh, improved his game a lot. And I just think that by having him in the attack, it's going to take a ton of pressure off of some of the other guys, our offensive player of the year from last year, Kwame Denal. Uh, defenses are not going to be able to key on just one player. And uh, so tomorrow, I, I expect to have um, somewhere between 15 and 20 goals this fall. You scheduled a number of challenging non-conference contests, including a road trip to start out the year in Arizona. How do you feel these games, uh, as well as the other ones in your preseason, are going to prepare your team for the highly challenging CCC schedule that awaits? Yeah, I think the exciting part for us is, um, you know, as much as these games do prepare us, uh, it's been a it's been a longer process than that. If, even if we back up even further, if we go back to the spring when we traveled to Gonzaga or, or played PDL sides in the spring, our guys are very hungry and want to play the best because they think that they're the best, and they should. They want to continue to grow and. and test themselves. So uh, that's really the, 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 the mindset going into a, a game like Arizona. We respect Embry-Riddle a lot and Arizona Christian. That's a very difficult trip. It's going to put us through uh, situations that we may struggle with and we want to see if we can find some of those situations so we can get better. What goals then and expectations 
do you have and what you set before this 2016 Corbin men's soccer team? On the field, the goals really stay the same. It's, it's, it's almost, you can push repeat, you know, from, from last year's uh, interview. And, and that's what we like. We want high expectations and we want them to be consistent from year to year. And, and those expectations really are to compete for a conference championship in a very difficult Cascade Conference, uh, compete for a tournament championship and get back to the national tournament where we expect to advance this year. We want to play our last game in, in Florida this December and, and the guys uh, that we have have the ability to do that and, and we're looking forward to the challenge to, to, to making that a reality. Awesome, Aaron. Well, thank you again for joining us today for the 2016 Corbin Men's Soccer Season Preview. A lot of exciting things happening here with the program and uh, good luck out there this year. Thank you, Danny. Appreciate it.